Hey guys, so I just had a load of hay delivered here and I'm kind of dreading what comes next, which is carrying all the hay up these stairs here. So, yay, wish me luck here. I took some ibuprofen in advance because I already have a tension headache from something else. Um, and it's definitely gonna get worse than <laughs> doing this, but I'm gonna take like a break either every 20 or 25 bells. We'll see how it goes, but uh, be exhausting. I'm already physically exhausted, but it's just like, yeah, never stops. All right, today is hay day, and I just had 100 bales of first cut hay delivered this morning. Now it's time to stack it up in the loft. I don't have a hay elevator, so this means I have to carry each and every bale up the stairs, which is quite a bit of work. I figured I'd set my camera up as a time lapse just to speed this process up, but anyway, I was supposed to have this hay delivered earlier in the week, however, it ended up raining. It's been raining so much this summer. We've had so much rain, so many thunderstorms. It's been a pretty awful summer, to be honest. We had clear skies this morning, so thankfully I was able to have the hay delivered, but it's supposed to rain again tonight. I certainly haven't gotten the training that I wanted to get done this summer, which is a pretty big bummer for me, considering how long our winters are. And it's crazy, I'm already thinking about this next upcoming winter, and one of the things I have to do is start storing up some hay. All right, well, I did a little more than 25, which was my, I said 20 or 25 and then I'd take a break, but I'm like, I took it to 20, I'm like, you know what, just do 25, do the minimum, and then get to 25, it's like, okay, do 30, and this is something similar. I used to be a runner and ran half marathons, but it's like that mental stamina building it, and, uh, <laughs> when I used to do races, I would always tell myself, okay, run to this point, run this this far. Basically, you don't even entertain thoughts of going further. Like, just run to that stop sign, run to that mile. Once you get there, you're like, oh, I want to beat my goal. <laughs> and so then you want to beat your goal and then add an attack on another mile and do the same thing. So I just kept doing that. And yeah, I get to, to 30 and then I'm like, you know, if I... I don't want to add too many breaks because I don't want to have to restart and I think it's going to be harder to restart if I stop. So I went to 40 and then I'm like 40 so close to 50. So I just put 50 up there, maybe more because if I lose track and if I have between two numbers like 17 and 18, I always go down. So that happened a few times. Um, so I don't know, I might have more than 50. But uh, I really do need a break now. My, uh, my uh, forearm, there's like a nerve that kind of feel like every now and then it like catches and like it just like gets very tingly and uh, I don't think it's anything serious, more like an over overuse injury, um, which I've had in my elbow before when I used to work at a horse barn mucking lots of stalls. Those, that hurts though. But yeah, I could use a break. I was feeling it on my, my right forearm, oh my, my left one, and then I felt it on my right. But I'm gonna take a little break, hydrate myself, it's my favorite favorite heyday drink <laughs> so yeah it's mental stamina but I'm a, yeah I'm feeling I was getting I was getting sloppy the last 10 were like really I was like stumbling up the stairs but anyway I'm gonna take a break but not too long I don't want to cool off because if I cool off then it's gonna be hard to restart so yeah so I gave myself a 10 minute break and then got back to work and it was pretty hard to restart after taking that break, but I really did feel like I needed it. Now just to slow things down so you can see how tedious this was, the hardest part was getting it started on the staircase. I would have to kind of twist the bale to get it on and then I could straighten out, but wow, yeah, that was, that was tricky. Watching this, I'm like, what the heck am I doing with my back? <laughs> Oh man, so weird, but I hope someday I can look back at this when I have my own farm, I have all the, the fun tools and equipment. I hope someday I can look back at this and uh, I don't know, sometimes I just feel like I'm making these videos also for myself to look back upon and see and remember my starting point because yeah, it is really hard starting something. I didn't grow up with horses and it's just like I'm trying to carve this lifestyle, I'm trying to really just make something out of nothing and work with what I have. And right now I feel like my body is my most valuable tool that I have. So it is, I do monitor my physical condition as well as I can and try to respect my body when 
I do feel pain or an injury and it is hard though. It's very, very hard when you have chores you have to do every single day and things like this that need to get done. But yeah, it's a lot of work and quite frankly, this summer has just been exhausting, absolutely exhausting for me and I am so ready for a vacation that I am not going to have. <laughs> so yeah. But I've said this before, it's something that us horse people do to ourselves. We <laughs> tend to choose this lifestyle even with the hardships and with the exhaustion that comes with it. There's just something, something about horses, you know, <laughs> you know, you know. And I just want to pause and say here, well, a couple of things. First, I, I hope that seeing this is helpful and encouraging for some of you who also didn't grow up with horses and are working hard to create that lifestyle. I hope this is encouraging because I know that reading comments from some of you who either went through a period like I'm in now or are also currently in it where you're having to do a lot of manual labor. You're having to work with what you've got. I know that's truly, truly encouraging to me and I really appreciate it. And, and I also want to say a big thank you to my viewers as a whole. I've recently pivoted a bit in the type of content I'm putting out and showing a lot more of this behind the scenes stuff and really my life is filled with a lot of hard manual labor and you know it's I wasn't sure how people would respond to content like this and I'm just so appreciative of the overwhelming positive response from a lot of you and I genuinely really appreciate those comments. I was just reading them with Nathan this morning and they were quite frankly touching um, and yeah I honestly I just feel like such an average person and it's it's really humbling that a community of people actually watch my videos and uh, yeah I'm very thankful for you all. All right, guys, I just have this one last spell, so let's do this. So here's the grand finale. Can I get this guy? All right, oh, thank goodness, it's a light one. I was worried it would be a heavy one to end on, but no. <sighs> okay. Yay! I did it. I did it. I did not stack pretty, but, uh, here it is, the hay. <sighs> All right, so that was exhausting. Man, um, now I've got to clean up the hay scraps here, throw it to the horses. <sighs> oh, yeah, I'm going to be worthless tomorrow, I'll tell you that. Worthless tomorrow. All right, I just brought these guys in from being outside overnight. Hey, sugar. How's your breakfast? Good? Hi, Theodore. Yeah, food's more interesting. Boopers! Boopers! Marlin! Hi, sir. You wanna say hi? No? Food's more interesting. You're very sweet. Yeah. All right, well, clearly they're too busy to be bothered, so I'm done here, so I'm gonna go home and stretch and just rest up because, yeah, my neck is feeling it. My whole body's just exhausted, but did it. Got 100 bells up in the loft. Yay. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.